And welcome back to the Hall Pass Podcast. Though with just me, Counselor Jay, and Counselor Vincent. Today's episode will be on just that, the coronavirus, and how it's affecting our students and families. And many of you may also have some anxiety and questions since your SAT and ACT tests have been canceled, schools have closed, etc., wondering how this may impact your college admissions. Because we understand this time of uncertainty may bring rising concerns to students and parents, we want to dedicate this episode to answer your questions and hopefully ease many of those concerns. So it seems to me that uh, a lot of the, uh, the uncertainty is going to continue to persist until April then, because that's when a lot of the other colleges as well, as well as some summer programs. I had students who applied to summer programs that uh, are uncertain about what's going to happen given yeah. the virus and all. And they're saying, hey, you know what, let's wait until April and we'll give you an update then. So I guess we're all in that same boat. We're all waiting for updates in April, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we just have to, uh, again, just wait and see. We do know that, you know, uh, I'm sure a lot of students are very much aware of this already, but the SAT has been postponed or just canceled. Um, So students are currently planning on taking the SAT one or two in June. Uh, The ACT, I believe, also in June, but that's also a wait and see approach because they might postpone further if the coronavirus doesn't end up um, dying down a bit by then. Okay. Okay. How about I get a little bit more specific for kind of case by case. Um, Current seniors, they're getting the results now. It's month of March. Um, Ideally, it should be a time of uh, hopefully a lot of celebrations. Um, I know that the many of the UCs have already came out. Um, The wait now is until May 1st for the standard uh, in terms of putting in a deposit and choosing the one school they want to attend to. But a lot of schools have actually announced that they've extended that deadline to June. Yeah. Um, so what are your thoughts t- and advice that we want to give to seniors currently? So I, I think uh, more colleges are becoming understanding of the fact that um, seniors need some more time to make their decisions because this, especially during spring break, uh, is, is usually a very popular time for students to go around the country and visit the schools they were accepted to so that they can determine if that is the best fit for them. Mm-hmm. And so um, as of right now, <clears throat> some colleges have extended their SIR, the deposit deadline, to June. Um, the UCs have... Okay, so that's something I think we'd have to kind of take into account as parents and as current seniors, because, um, you know, the mo- more, more likely than not, we are going to expect some wait lists in, in our students. And so how this gets pushed back becomes a big question mark for me. We'll have to, I guess, as you say, it, wait and see. Uh, how about in terms of any advice for students who um, are in that predicament and have to choose a school and yeah. are thinking about how to visit colleges and make that decision? Yeah. So I, I think um, as for admit days or for students who couldn't physically visit the campus because they, they just are, are not allowed to, um, a lot of colleges have been offering virtual admit sessions like webcasts and other online programs so that students can kind of like go online and learn more about the school, ask questions about you know the school itself and see if that's the best choice for them. I would highly recommend you take advantage of these online admit days so that you can try and learn as much as you can about these colleges. Some schools like Pepper. How about in terms of advice you want to give to parents? So I, I feel like parents are in a very unique situation too. Um, I think for the most part, we should definitely encourage um, students to not again be playing video games or just doing nothing outside of just their homework. Uh, I would recommend that they look into online academic supplements to maybe maximize the additional free time that their students might have, their kids might have, whether that's again Khan Academy. There's a, a website called Round. Outside of that, I think definitely encourage healthy daily habits. Don't mm. just, you know, be inside your home and not get any sunlight. You got to you gotta encourage them to go outside, exercise, you know, have some social time for you, um, you know, siblings, whatever the case might be. But I think those are some things that parents should be considering now. Walking outside but maintaining a, a six-foot distance. <laughs> yeah, uh, social distance. I might add. Okay. Definitely. I, you know, I want to add a tip to this. I've realized that, um, especially, uh, overarchingly, uh, but how about for uh, junior students right now? Any main advice? I mean, I think, honestly, for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, it's, it's probably going to stay um, 
pretty, pretty similar in terms of the advice I would give them, which is to just continue focusing again on your schoolwork, continue taking advantage of these independent opportunities for you to do projects or these competitions, whatever the case might be. And definitely you, you still have to move forward as if these tests are going to matter. So I have some students who are kind of like pushing off their standardized test prep and that definitely. For those of us listening, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our podcast app or on our website, www.thehallpasspodcast.com. We also have an Instagram, The Hall Pass Podcast. If you missed any of our episodes, you can also find us on iTunes or on our website. We want to thank our sponsors, the Admission Masters, for our high school students who want a mentor and counselor to guide you and help navigate your high school career, join the Admission Masters family. You'll get personalized services that are focused and tailored to make you a successful student and overall individual. Of all, all the Admission master services are accessible online and virtually. So for those of you who want to get started today, call our office. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in in our special episode for today. We hope to have new content and more episodes coming out soon. Again, we would love you to send us an email of general topics and questions you might want us to cover for our podcast at thehallpathpodcast at gmail.com. And yeah, have a nice day, everyone. Stay safe. Stay safe.